Milan is a city with a rich cultural heritage and a vibrant atmosphere. There's no shortage of things to see and do, whether you're interested in art, history, fashion, or simply soaking up the local atmosphere. With its iconic architecture, world-renowned museums, bustling streets, and bustling piazzas, there's always something new and exciting to discover. Hey everyone, welcome to Travel Opulence. From exploring Milan's iconic gallery, Vittorio Emmanuel II, to studying historical works of art at Pinacoteca de Brera, here are 15 things to see and do in Milan. So let's get to it. Number 15. Explore Milan's iconic gallery, Vittorio Emmanuel II. The Galleria in Milan is a renowned shopping arcade that offers much more than just shopping. A visit to this iconic building is a must-do activity in the city, and it's renowned for its high-end fashion boutiques such as Prada, Gucci, and Louis Vuitton, as well as its historic cafes. This impressive glass-roofed arcade made from iron and glass was opened in 1877 and has become a popular gathering place for locals. Take a leisurely stroll through the arcade, window shop, or take a guided tour to fully experience its charm. Number 14. Stroll through the magnificent spires of the Duomo di Milano. The Duomo di Milano, also known as the Milan Cathedral, stands proudly at the center of the city and is one of the most visited attractions. It is the largest church in Italy, excluding Vatican City, and is located in the magnificent Piazza del Duomo. Construction of the cathedral began in 1386 and was built on top of an older basilica that dates back to the 4th century. Visitors can admire a number of the magnificent artworks inside the church and also have the opportunity to tour the roof and see up close its 135 beautifully decorated spires. Number 13. Take a Lake Garda day trip and see the Scaligero Castle. A visit to Lake Garda is a must for anyone traveling to Milan. As the country's largest lake, it offers stunning vistas and tranquil blue waters. Take a boat tour around Sirmione Peninsula and witness the medieval villages and the 13th century Scaligero Castle, which stands guard over the waterfront. The walled town of Sirmione is also known for its thermal springs and is a popular tourist destination. Number 12. Immerse yourself in romance on a Lake Como day trip. A visit to Lake Como, located near Milan, should be on the itinerary for anyone visiting the area. Known for its hills and charming towns, it's no surprise that Lake Como is a favorite getaway for locals in Milan and a popular honeymoon destination. The towns of Como, Bellagio, and Tremezzo, which border the lake, are must-see destinations and can be easily explored through regular boat tours offered in the summertime. Number 11. Study historical works of art at Pinocoteca di Brera. The Pinocoteca di Brera is Milan's premier public art gallery showcasing some of the country's most important historical works of art and masterpieces. From Caravaggio to Mantegna, Raphael and the Bellini brothers, the gallery's collection is a treasure trove of renowned artists. Housed in a stunning 16th-century palazzo and former monastery, the gallery is conveniently located near the Botanical Gardens and Observatory. Number 10. Walk the Grounds of Castella Forzesco The Castella Sforzesco is a prominent 15th-century castle located in the heart of Milan. Throughout history, it served various purposes and boasts interior decorations by renowned artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Bramante. The castle complex boasts several exhibitions, such as the Museum of Ancient Art and the Rondanini Pieta Museum, showcasing Michelangelo's final sculpture. Number 9. See the Devil's Column at Basilica di Sant'Ambrogio. The Basilica of Sant'Ambrogio, one of Milan's oldest churches, was built near the end of the 4th century by St. Ambrose. The church boasts impressive ancient mosaics ranging from the 4th to the 13th century. A white marble column near the church is said to have two holes made by the devil's horns who were unable to tempt St. Ambrose. Number 8. Pay Your Respects at Monumental Cemetery Explore the serene and historic Monumental Cemetery in Milan, a peaceful place filled with impressive monuments, works of art, and the final resting place of some of the city's most wealthy and influential individuals. With numerous intricately adorned statues, grand mausoleums, and elaborately designed family tombs, a visit to the cemetery offers a unique and unforgettable experience. 
Number 7. See a performance at Teatro alla Scala and La Scala Museum. The La Scala Opera House, a symbol of Milan's cultural heritage for over two centuries, has played host to some of the greatest vocalists and composers of all time. The grand yet unadorned structure is the home of the renowned La Scala Theater Chorus Ballet and Orchestra. The La Scala Museum boasts a collection of intricately designed antique musical instruments, costumes, Commedia dell'arte memorabilia, and portraits of the most famous composers in La Scala's history. Number 6. See the frescoes of Chiesa di San Marizzo al Monastero Maggiore. The Chiesa di San Marizzo, also known as the Sistine Chapel of Milan, boasts magnificent interior decorations that belie its humble exterior. With intricate frescoes adorning its walls and a magnificent antique organ, this church is a true feast for the eyes. Located next door is the Milan Archaeology Museum, housed within the Monastero Maggiore, which was once the city's largest convent. Number 5. Admire the Art Deco design of Villa Necchi Campiglio. Villa Necchi Campiglio is a stunning representation of Art Deco design and furniture. It serves as a museum showcasing the best examples of the Art Deco period. The villa, surrounded by lush gardens, is a peaceful oasis in the heart of busy Milan. Built as a private residence, it features a beautiful swimming pool and tennis courts, offering a glimpse into the luxurious lifestyle of the era. Visitors can take a step back in time and appreciate the elegance and sophistication of this iconic villa, making it a must-see destination for those interested in design and architecture. Number 4. Walk in Da Vinci's Footsteps at Leonardo's Vineyard Leonardo's Vineyard, a cherished possession of the famous artist Leonardo da Vinci, can be found on the grounds of Casa degli Atelani. The Duke of Milan gifted the vineyard to Leonardo in 1498 as a way to make him feel more at home in the city. Today, the vineyard has been restored to its original character, offering a unique opportunity to follow in the footsteps of the great master. Visitors can tour the vineyard and learn about Leonardo's passion for horticulture and agriculture, while taking in the breathtaking scenery and gaining a deeper appreciation for this revered artist's life and work. Number 3. People Watch and Relax at Sempione Park Sempione Park, one of the largest public parks in Milan, covers a sprawling 95 acres of green space. It provides a peaceful retreat from the bustling city, making it a popular destination for a leisurely stroll or for observing the city's residents. The park is located across from the Sforza Castle and the Arch of Peace and features several notable attractions, including the Torre Branca, a 108-meter-tall iron tower, as well as the Arena Civica and a public aquarium. Number 2. See Milan's Oldest Museum the Pinacoteca Ambrosiana. The Pinacoteca Ambrosiana, Milan's oldest museum, boasts a world-renowned collection of paintings. It's home to works by renowned old masters such as Leonardo da Vinci, Caravaggio, Raphael, and Botticelli, just to name a few. In addition to its art collection, the Ambrosiana Library is also a treasure trove of knowledge, housing the Codex Atlanticus, a collection of writings and sketches by Leonardo da Vinci unmatched anywhere else in the world. For art lovers, the Pinacoteca Ambrosiana is an absolute must-see, offering a chance to experience some of the finest works of art from the old masters in a single extraordinary museum. Number 1. Gaze up at the Arco de la Pace The Arch of Peace, built during Milan's Napoleonic era in 1807, was designed to serve as a magnificent entrance to the city for travelers coming from Paris along the Alpine route. It was inspired by the Grand Arch of Settimo Severo in Rome and was constructed from durable materials such as granite and marble. The arch stands at the end of Corso Sempione and is located near the site of an older gate that was once part of the city's walls. Today, the Arch of Peace is a popular tourist destination and a symbol of Milan's rich history, attracting visitors from all over the world who come to admire its impressive design and historic significance. So what are your plans for your trip to Milan? Let us know in the comments section below. So there you have it. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Until next time.